Today is Sunday, October 24th, 2021, and welcome to episode 48 of Dinner from the Dining Car. Today, we're uh, going to go off the rails, and we're going to make something that I've been making for off and on for decades, a Southwest Four Bean Chili. Now, today is a good day for it here in Burbank because it's cold, cloudy, and later on this evening it's going to start pouring rain. So this is a great recipe for today. Uh, now as far as this chili, we're making it with beef today, but you can make it with leftover turkey. Uh, if you have a good chunk a pound or so of leftover rotisserie chicken. It works with that. It even works with sausage, although not so good. Anyway, and we're serving with that, we're going to be making, hmm, excuse me, cheddar cheese biscuits. Here's what you need. Oh, excuse me, I gotta get one thing out of the fridge. Silly me, you can't make cheddar cheese biscuits without cheddar cheese. So here's what you need for the chili. You're gonna need a pound of ground beef. And you're gonna just brown this up lightly, season it with salt and pepper to taste. Then you're going to need half of an onion. Meow. <coughs> you guys may have heard the cat. We, Judy and I got ourselves a kitty. He's adorable, but he's also fitting of me. He's a goofball. You're going to need, back to the recipe, before I get started on all the weirdness of the cat, you're going to need a can of white beans, a can of dark red kidney beans. Make sure they're the dark red, not the light. There is a taste difference. You're going to need a can of black beans and you're going to need a can of pinto beans. Now these are all 15 ounce cans so they're available at any grocery store you go to basically. You're also going to need a 28 ounce can of diced tomatoes. You can use crushed tomatoes if that's your thing. I just got diced. You're going to need half of an onion. You're also going to need a can of diced green chilies. That's all for the uh, chili. Here's your chili seasoning mix. You're going to need, I had to print it up because it's been a while since I made it. You're going to need a couple of tablespoons chili powder. You're going to need a couple of teaspoons of ground cumin. You're going to need half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Now, if you like your chili hotter, add more cayenne pepper. If you like it mild like we do, well, actually, we like the hot chili. It just does not like us. So we go with the mild. You're going to need a teaspoon of garlic powder. And you're going to need a teaspoon of paprika. You're also going to need a pinch of dried basil flakes. Just a pinch, maybe a little more. You're also going to need two teaspoons of salt and about a half a teaspoon, maybe a little more, of fresh ground pepper. Those are in the mills. We'll get to those. That's for the chili. For the biscuits, these are simple Bisquick biscuits with the addition of some cheddar cheese. So you're going to need Bisquick. Great stuff. <laughs> you know, if you've never dealt with it before, you can use it to make the biscuits, waffles, shortcakes, uh, classic pancake. There used to be a recipe on the box for something called Impossible Cheeseburger Pie. Those of us that have been around a while, you'll recognize that. For the, the biscuits, you're going to need juice of cow, good old-fashioned milk. 
And you're also going to need a cup or so of shredded cheese. This is a big bag of the Mexican style four cheese blend. Monterey Jack Cheddar, Cheddar Asadero, and, and the white queso. And so that's all you need for the uh, recipe. If you'll give me a few minutes, we have to brown the ground beef. And then we'll get everything started so you can see what's going on. By the way, this is a crock pot recipe, a slow cooker. Uh, down, down. Don't get in my shot, Creamsicle. That's my wife's name for the cat, Creamsicle. If you saw him, you'd get it. Uh, this goes in a slow cooker. This is going to cook anywhere from five to seven hours on low. So, meow, poor baby. Anyway, I'll be back in just a bit. I want to go see what's bugging the cat. And uh, then we'll get back. I'll, get, I'll brown up the beef, cut, cut and dice up the onion, and you'll see the whole thing go into the crock pot. We'll catch you in a bit. Okay, folks, here we go. We're going to start the making the seasoning mix. You're going to need two tablespoons of chili powder. There's one. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Wow, that's good chili powder. Ground cumin. The cumin, you're going to need two teaspoons. One. Too. Definitely for anything with a Mexican kind of flavor, you want cumin. Now you need a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Again, if you like your sauce a little hotter, feel free to add more. Because we here like our sauces a little mild. You want to use that. You want another half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Oop, a little more garlic powder. Oh shit, I can't use that spoon. And then a teaspoon of paprika. To that, you're going to add a couple of pinches of your dried basil. And that takes care of that. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to Whisk this all together. Oh, that smells so good already. And then this is going to go into your chili once you get everything started. And that's the name of that tune. So if you'll give me a few minutes, I'll get the beef ground, the cans opened, everything thrown in there, and you can see it. We'll be back. Okay, folks, we're back, and we're getting ready to put everything in the crock pot. The ground beef, ouch, which has been, which has been browned, if you'll take a look there, goes in the bottom of the crock pot. Now, I use very lean 93.7 ground beef. So it's very little oil left in it. Very little grease. However, if you like the flavor that that grease gives, dump it all in there. If you want to use an 80-20, dump that and just use it all. And then comes your beans. A can of white beans. Now when you dump these in, you want to include the liquid. 
dark red kidney beans because the liquid's going to give it some more flavor. Black beans. And pinto beans. Did you mention the onion? Yes, I did. Okay. Here's your diced green chilies. Those go in there too. And your 28 ounce can of tomatoes. Now, you may want to add a little bit of water to this. Here is your onion. Now folks, when you buy onions, be very, very careful. Uh, get an onion that has an inspection label on it. Because there has been in 37 states, salmonella outbreaks caused by bad onions. So be very, very careful when you buy them. Don't buy them from a source that you don't consider reputable. But anyway, well, you've chopped that onion up relatively fine, dump it in there too. Then comes your seasoning mix, which we did just a bit ago. That gets poured in there too. Now you're going to want to add some water to this. You're going to want to add about 16 ounces of water. This is so it gives the base a little something to simmer in. Then, you're going to stir all this up. Stir in the seasonings, the, the beans, the tomatoes. Make sure it's good and stirred up, because you don't want anything uneven. Just give it a really good stir. Now this might thicken up as it cooks. If so, if you think it's a little too thick, it's kind of an eyeball thing. If you think it's too thick, add a little more water. I, right now, I think it's just about perfect. But three or four hours from now, it might not be. Yeah, it's on low. Put your, put your slow cooker on low. Now that really looks, that looks pretty good already. I just want to see, yeah, that looks good already. little zoom in there on the stuff. Anyway, cover it. And you let that cook on low for at least five hours. So it is now, oops, just about 11 o'clock in the morning. So by four o'clock we will be ready to eat and then we'll start the we'll start the cheddar cheese biscuits. So we'll see all then. Okay folks, here we are. We're gonna start making our biscuits. Got a bowl here. We need uh, two cups plus a little bit, two and a quarter cups of Bisquick. Could you get me a, a tablespoon? Yeah. There's one. There's two. And about a quarter. I'm doing this quick all over the place. Well, I'll wipe it up when you're done. Thank you. And I need two thirds of a cup of milk. Ah. Like I said, could you get me a big uh, 
tablespoon, a tablespoon so I can stir this. Thank you. And you just basically stir this until you get a nice batter. Maybe a fork would have been better. <laughs> you want a fork? No. Um, I've already dirtied a spoon. I'll just deal with it. As it sticks to everything. Yes, it sticks to everything. Now you need, now how much cheese you put in these depending is depending on how cheesy you want. If you use a, want it just a little cheesy, use half a cup of cheese. We are going to use a full cup. Because, gosh darn it, if you're making cheese biscuits, you might as well make cheese biscuits. There you go. Got a cup of cheese. into your batter, which is sticking to the spoon like crazy here. You have to pour in a little more milk because it's a little too stiff. Tastes good though. <laughs> and then what you do, now we have the oven Preheating to 425. Of course, it's been preheating so long, it ought to be pretty well heated by now. Another thing we're going to do with these is when they come out, we're going to melt a little butter and spread some melted butter on them and dress them with parsley flakes. That ought to be intense. Here's your cookie sheet, ungreased, and you just start. It on. This stuff is really sticking. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's a good biscuit right there. <laughs> That's a biscuit. That should make it upset. Yeah. You can hear Judy in the background. She has much more experience with uh, Bisquick biscuits than I do. In fact, she has more experience with biscuits than just about anybody I know. Well, I don't have that much experience with biscuits. Well, you have a lot more than I do. And I've always just used Bisquick, so I don't really know how to make homemade biscuits. I've made homemade biscuits. It's no fun. Okay, that biscuit over there is a little short. So we're going to scrape the bowl. Here, you want to rinse that out. And there you have a nice, lovely six biscuits. Mm. Oh, that's good. A lot of cheese. Now, these are going to go in the 425 degree oven for 10 to 12 minutes and after that we'll be back we'll get them out of the oven we'll serve up the chili and the biscuits into the oven you go wow that is hot in there and we'll see you in about 10 to 12 minutes Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there's our biscuits out of the oven. And gosh, do they ever look gorgeous. And here is the final step before we serve. We're going to take melted butter, 
pour it on the biscuits. Make sure they all get a good drenching. And then, oops, excuse me, I just stood in the shot. Sprinkle it with dried parsley flakes. That makes them very pretty and it's going to make them very tasty. Okay, now let me swing the camera around to the table. There we go. And let me have your chili bowl first. Don't give me a lot. I know. You, you don't need as much as I do. Now this may need a minute or two cool down. to cool off in order to eat it. Because mm -hmm. it is like, as you can see, well I don't know if you can see, I don't think you can see it on camera. Let me show you guys. That chili is steaming. Now it is definitely ready to eat. So let me show you getting it in a bowl and a couple of those delicious biscuits. Oh, look at that. Does that got stuff in it or what? It does plenty. Yeah, let me get you some sauce. There you go. Grab it out of my hands. Let me get spoons. Go around the uh, back of the camera, please. Okay. Oh, this is so yummy. I can, I can taste it already. There you go. That's the chili served in a bowl. And because we're fans of cheese, we got some more cheese out. To put on the chili. To put on the chili. There's a biscuit. He's wondering what the tripod is to cap. There's another biscuit. Let me have your plate. Here's what your biscuits look like, guys. All yummied with the butter and parsley flakes. Move it into the camera shot with the butter and the parsley flakes and if Judy will let me have her plate I'll get her a couple of biscuits. Just start with one. Bigger? How about that one? That one would be fine. You know what? I think maybe taking two was a bit much for me. I'm going to put one back on the <laughs> tray. Oh. These all look so delicious. I hope everything... Mm. I've been kind of taste testing the chili as it's been cooking, and it's phenomenal. So anyway, there it is, folks. Your Southwest four bean chili with cheddar cheese biscuits with the melted butter and parsley flakes on top of the biscuits. That's it for this video. If you have any comments, questions, want a recipe, uh, email me at dinnerfromthediningcar at yahoo.com. Meow. There's the cat again. And you could probably hear him. No. 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 He's trying to jump on the table again. Oh, okay. He's just passing through to get to the other window. Uh... If you'd be so kind as to smash that like button, smash that like button, I'd appreciate it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Thanks for coming along on this little journey. And folks, have yourselves a wonderful Sunday night. We'll see you next time.